Williams again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be making red lentil Indian curry and I love this dish. It's a really popular dish in Indian culture. I love anything with red lentils. It's one of my favorite things to cook with. The thing to know about red lentils versus like other lentils is red lentils cook down a lot and tend to get really mushy. So um, if you're wanting to make like a lentil salad or something, I would opt for green lentils or black lentils because they hold their shape when they're cooking. Red lentils are best in things like curries or red lentil chili where you kind of want it a little mushy. So just keep that in mind when you are choosing your lentils and you know using lentils to cook. Also midway through the video, I'm going to be showing you my masala daba spice box. This is an Indian spice box and it was given to me about five years ago by my friend Gayatri who just taught me so much about Indian culture, Indian cooking, Indian cuisine, and um, she even invited me to an Indian wedding, which is a really cool experience, but she gave me this and I love it. These are really handy in Indian cooking because a lot of dishes require you to grab spices really quick and you don't really have a lot of time to go to your cabinet to um, get your spices. So these make it really efficient to make a lot of Indian dishes because you can just, you know, pop the lid up, and just grab your spices and add it to your dish. Let's get straight into the video. I can't wait to show you this delicious recipe for red lentil curry. Let's do it. Begin the recipe by prepping your veggies. You'll need half of a medium onion, three cloves of garlic, one jalapeno seeded and finely diced, I have to wear gloves to cut jalapenos because if you get jalapeno juice under your fingers, it can be super painful. So definitely wear some gloves if you need to. And finally, mince some fresh ginger. Then in a large pot or Dutch oven, warm some oil on medium-low heat. Then you can add in the onion, garlic, and ginger. Cook on medium-low heat until the onion starts to appear translucent and smells fragrant. Then add in the spices. I'm using smoked paprika, cumin, turmeric, a little cayenne pepper, the jalapeno from earlier, and stir that together until all of the amazing flavors start to come together. And at this point, I realized I forgot to add salt and pepper. There is so much to remember when you're making videos. So add that with all the other spices. And finally, you can add in one cup of red lentils, a can of diced tomatoes, one can of full fat coconut milk, and some water. You can also use vegetable broth if you want. Bring the curry to a boil, then once it reaches boiling, reduce it back down to medium low. And simmer gently for about 20 to 25 minutes. This is my masala daba. It's an Indian spice box and it helps with one of the most important key elements of Indian cooking, which is timing. You'll most often find spices like turmeric, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, brown mustard seeds, and garam masala in these spice boxes, but you might also run into things like red chili powder and cardamom. I don't do a lot of Indian cooking, so I've customized mine to have things like garlic powder and cinnamon because I do a lot of baking. But yeah, this is a really fun piece of equipment to have in your kitchen, and I'll leave a link to one below. There's some on Amazon that I've seen that are pretty cool. Once the lentils are tender and the curry has thickened a little bit, go ahead and add in some lime juice and some cilantro. That's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like if you do. That helps me out a lot. And please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you in a couple more days for another fall recipe video. Bye, guys.